Do you want to gamify Learn Dash courses with badges and points for the students? It can boost user engagement and increase course sales. Let's see how to offer points and badges to online course students with Learn Dash. So we have logged into our WordPress admin dashboard. And if we take a look at our site, we already have Learn Dash installed and we have a few courses on our site. So this is our Learn Dash site. Okay. We also have a few courses over here. You can see we have these five courses. Now we are going to gamify our course. So we are going to go to the dashboard. And there are various ways to gamify your Learn Dash courses. In this video, we will be actually focusing on achievements and badges. So using achievements or creating achievements and badges for your Learn Dash courses is one way to gamify your course. And that's what we will be focusing on in this video. To add the achievement or badges feature, what we can do is go to Learn Dash and go to add-ons. So Learn Dash already has an achievement add-on which you can use. And here it is, Learn Dash LMS achievements, award badges and points to users for the successful completion of Learn Dash and WordPress activities. So we're going to click on install over here to install this add-on. All right, the add-on has been installed. Now it's over here. We are going to activate it by clicking on this button. All right, so it's now activated. Now, if we click over here or if we simply refresh this page, we can see the achievements over here. If we click on it, you can see this is the achievement section. From here, we have no achievements currently created. We can click on this add new achievement button to create an achievement, or we can take a look at the reports, settings, and short codes section. So first, let's go ahead and actually create an achievement. We are going to click on add new achievement button. And from here, we're going to add a title to our achievement. All right, so we have named our achievement first quiz completion achievement. You can use any method for naming your achievements, but here I have named it in a way that it actually explains how the achievement is unlocked. So you can guess that after completing something called the first quiz, this achievement will be awarded to the user. So we will actually be looking at the triggers of what the achievements will be awarded upon. So first, let's actually complete this section. We are going to uh, write a message. All right, so we added some text over here. This text will be displayed when the achievement is awarded to a user. Next, we are going to choose an image for our achievement. So you can actually award badges to your users when they have this achievement unlocked. Now, if you have an image of this badge, you can click over here and upload this image just by clicking over select file. Or you can uh, select an image from the media library if you have one. Otherwise, you can simply click on select image and select an existing badge from here. So from this section, we can see that this is a good badge. It looks good. We can select any one of these. So I'm just going to select this. And then in the details section here, you can see there are three options. The first one is the trigger, which is very important. So if we click on this drop down, we can see there are two major triggers, WordPress triggers and Learn Dash triggers. So a trigger is an action that the user has to complete in order to complete this achievement or receive this achievement. Okay. So the WordPress triggers are something like user registration. So when a user registers to your WordPress website, they will receive this achievement. The next option is when a user logs in. So when a user logs into your WordPress website, that's when he's going to unlock the achievement. So there are various WordPress triggers such as user adds a post, user adds a comment, user visits a post, user's post gets visited, user has logged in for X consecutive days, and these are all the WordPress triggers. Now for the Learn Dash triggers, you can see there are so many triggers over here. So user enrolls into a group, user enrolls into a course, user completes a course, user completes a lesson, topic, user passes a quiz, user fails a quiz, user completes a quiz. So there are various Learn Dash triggers that you can add for this achievement. So for our achievement, you have already guessed what we are going to use it for. It's the first quiz completion. So we are going to choose this user passes a quiz. So we're going to click on this. And as soon as we select this trigger, you can see that we receive some more options. So from here, we have to specify which course, which lesson, which topic or which quiz the user has to complete in order to re receive this achievement or this badge. Okay, so from here, we have a course called building an SEO foundation. So this is our course. And the lesson is the intro. 
And from the topic, we're going to select all topics. And from the quiz, we're going to select intro topic quiz. So we have this uh, quiz prepared for this video. Okay, we're going to select it. And user group, we do not need to select anything right now because we don't have a group. But if you have a group, you can select from here. And you can also choose how much points you want to award for this achievement. So let's say I want to award 50 points when they receive this achievement. And for occurrences, we will set it to zero so that it can happen unlimited number of times. Now we are going to publish this achievement by clicking on this button. All right, the achievement has been published. Now we're going to click on back to achievements. Now you can see that our achievement has been added over here. From this section, we can look at the title of the achievement, the trigger, the points awarded, occurrences, and the image of that achievement. In this way, you can add multiple achievements for different triggers, okay? So next, if we go to the settings, here you can actually add a pop-up. So when a user acquires or receives an achievement or unlocks an achievement, a pop-up message will be displayed on his screen. So how long the pop-up will be displayed for, you can select uh, the seconds, number of seconds. So if you select zero, uh, the pop-up will be there forever until the user closes it with the close button, okay? But we don't want that, we just want it to appear for five seconds. And the position is top left, center, right. I think top right would look a lot better. And the background color will be white and the text color will be uh, dark. Okay, now the RTL. So if your website is using any right to left languages such as Arabic, Hebrew, Persian or Urdu, then you can enable this. So the text is displayed correctly. And finally, you can also specify the badge size and the tooltip text font size. Once you're done, remember to save your settings. Next is the shortcode tab. Here we can check some shortcodes. You can display the list of student achievements by using this shortcode. So I'll show you this later on. First, actually, let's see how our achievement looks like. So we're going to visit our site now. And from here, we're going to click on the courses. And this is our course. So we're going to click over here. And this is the intro topic. We're going to take this quiz and we're going to click on start quiz. So let's actually answer these questions. Click here to continue. And over here, you can see the message over your first quiz completion achievement. And here's the message. Congratulations, you have completed your first quiz and earned yourself a badge. You're on your way to becoming an SEO expert. So we have earned our first badge. Great, now we're going to close it. And now a problem is since we earned this badge, we also need to show it. So if we go to account over here and this is our account and we have completed this course. So we actually want to display the badge or achievement somewhere over here. Now for that, we can either use the short codes that you have seen earlier, or we can simply use a Gutenberg block. I think using a Gutenberg block is much simpler. So we're going to do that. So for this, first you have to log into your WordPress admin dashboard, then click on the edit page. And for the account page, what you can do is simply uh, expand this block and search for learn dash achievement. So if I write learn dash my, it's going to show up over here. So this is the learn dash my achievements. So we're going to drag it and drop it over here. All right, now you can see the badges over here, but there's no title or points, anything. So we're going to simply select this block, click on settings and enable show title and show points. Okay, we, you can also uh, edit the points label and you can also choose where the point will be displayed after uh, points is be better. Now let's save it. And now let's view our page. Now over here, you can see the badges here and the points is also being displayed. Now, as the user completes more achievements or acquires more achievements, they will be able to see their badges over here. So that is how you can gamify your Learn Dash courses by adding achievements and badges. So we hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.